Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. 49-year-old Colin Perot and 48-year-old Todd Donaldson of Swift Current made their first appearance in provincial court on Tuesday. Each are charged with one count of second-degree murder in connection to the death of Logan Ring. Bullying and youth mental health were the center of attention during a recent presentation in Swift Current as members of the film team for Milton's Secret addressed a crowd at the Sky Center. Over the summer months, Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall announced his decision to retire from politics. In recent weeks, two candidates have stepped forward hoping to win the Swift Current nomination for the Saskatchewan party, both with current ties to Premier Wall. Thanks for joining us here today. Five Swift Current residents have been charged with second-degree murder. We have more in today's top story. 49-year-old Colin Perot and 48-year-old Todd Donaldson of Swift Current made their first appearance in provincial court on Tuesday. Each are charged with one count of second-degree murder in connection to the death of Logan Ring and are currently represented by Adrienne McBride as defense counsel. Both will be back before the judge on November the 8th. Five individuals in total have been arrested in this case in the past week, all facing one count of second-degree murder. The three others include 38-year-old Jolene Denise Epp, 25-year-old Rebecca Lynn Coleman, and 18-year-old Tanisha Lynn Burrow, all of Swift Current. The case stems back to November of 2016, when the body of Logan Ring was located deceased at the Saskatchewan Landing Provincial Park. Since then, the F Division Major Crime Unit has been working on this investigation with numerous search warrants and arrests leading to the five accused now remanded in custody. No further details on the cause of death or other circumstances have been released by the RCMP. All five of the suspects arrested will have staggered dates in Swift Current Provincial Court through November. Mark October 18th through 21st on your calendar and plan to attend the CCA Finals Rodeo in Swift Currents. The top cowboys and cowgirls will compete in all of your favorite rodeo events, vying for the CCA Championship title. And wrap up your weekend with the CCA Finals Rodeo Cabaret featuring Sweet Tequila. Get your tickets now for the CCA Finals Rodeo, October 18th through 21st in Swift Currents. Bullying and youth mental health were in the spotlight during a provincial tour promoting Milton's Secret. Bullying and youth mental health were the center of attention during a recent presentation in Swift Current as members of the film team for Milton's Secret addressed a crowd at the Sky Center. Milton's Secret is an adaptation from the book written by Eckhart Tolle, telling the story of one boy's experience with family turmoil, a parental divorce, bullying at school, and trying to make sense of it all through the help of his grandfather, played by Donald Sutherland. A complex and inspiring film, which took over seven years to get to the big screen, which the production team was glad to see become a reality. Certainly uh, Eckhart Tolle, the author of the book that we optioned, is a spiritual leader, a personal development and uh, transformational leader uh, with a global audience and convincing financiers and broadcasters and everyone else to pick up and, and uh, pick up the torch and help bring the project to fruition was, was a challenge. Um, although there are spiritual films that are made, they're typically uh, associated with a specific religion, uh, typically Christianity. A film like this, a transformational film that isn't really tied to a specific religion, but yet has a connection at least to, 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 to that spiritual thread. Um, was a tough sell, and uh, but you know the film itself, it's it's really a show about about bullying and mental health and the stresses and the challenges that families face nowadays. So I don't really consider it to be an overt spiritual film by any stretch. A film endeavor which is now inspiring audiences around the world, which director Barnett Bain is glad to see up close and personal at such events as the one in Swift Currents. They see themselves in the movie or they see versions of themselves in the movie, and they investigate. People begin to investigate, how is that like me? 
How is that the same as? How is that similar? How is that familiar? Could I handle things in ways that are as uh, more effective or less effective? How is this about my own story? And in, in venues like this, you have that in ways that you don't have it in very big blockbuster films where you can't really relate to people with superpowers. And going forward, thanks to the efforts of organizers like Stephanie Perfect Moss, the production team hopes to incorporate classroom materials for schools on the education of bullying, managing daily stress, and overall mental health. The focus is on, for myself, is to really reiterate the importance of families, communities, and the planet. More information on Milton's secret can be found online. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. A number of candidates have stepped forward for the Saskatchewan Party nomination here in Swift Current. We find out who they are in this report. Over the summer months, Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall announced his decision to retire from politics, paving the way for a leadership campaign for the Saskatchewan Party and the nomination of a new Swift Current candidate. In recent weeks, two candidates have stepped forward hoping to win the Swift Current nomination for the Saskatchewan Party, both with current ties to Premier Wall. Derek Robinson is currently employed as the Executive Director of Digital Strategy in the Executive Council and the Office of the Premier. Robinson is a current resident of Regina and says he wants to come back to his family roots in Swift Current and represent the Saskatchewan Party. Working for the Premier for so many years, I've learned a lot from him. I've uh, just been kind of mentored by him and a number of other MLAs. And also just, you know, a heart and a passion for us. Um, I, you know, this has kind of been a dream of mine, something that if you talk to people around town, they know I've been talking about since I was 14 or 15 years old. And so to, to really pull the trigger on it would be great. And I think I would be a strong voice, a passionate advocate. And I think I'd bring a very renewed energy and a fresh perspective to, to the community and for the province. He further adds that if elected as the Saskatchewan Party representative for Swift Current, he'd like to see the positive trend of economic growth continue for the community. You know, new schools, new hospitals, uh, long-term care facility, all those types of things. And that's, I think that's really a tribute to the economic growth that the province has experienced because when you have strong economic growth, you're able to, to actually fund those things. And so that's kind of something I want to be, that I'd be very passionate about. The other candidate eyeing the Swift Current seat is Everett Hindley, a well-known face to many, as he's lived in Swift Current for 21 years. Hindley is a former radio announcer, worked as the constituency assistant for Brad Wall at his MLA office from 1999 through 2006, and then has moved on to the role of executive assistant to the Premier, a position which he still holds today. Speaking to a crowd in Swift Current, Hindley listed off his qualifications and why he feels he's the best choice for the Swift Current nomination. I think I have an idea of what's important to the people of Swift Current and, uh, and area. Um, and it's just, I've been uh, obviously interested and involved in politics for a long time. And I just thought that this would be the right time to step up and uh, take a shot at the nomination here in Swift Current. And when asked how he plans to distinguish himself from Brad Wall if he's elected by local party members, Hindley had these comments. I've had an opportunity to work with just some amazing people, not just Brad, but some of our other MLAs and caucus and, and as I mentioned today, folks with city council and with the local school board and the health region. And, um, you know, I, I think I want to continue to work on that and uh, bring a, a real local focus to things here um, to uh, focus on what's important for Swift Current and, and uh, hopefully, you know, carry this community forward. In the coming weeks, each of the candidates will be pounding the pavement rallying support with Saskatchewan Party members electing a new Swift Current nominee on December the 11th, at which time a date for a by-election for the riding will be scheduled. Mark October 18th through 21st on your calendar and plan to attend the CCA Finals Rodeo in Swift Current. The top cowboys and cowgirls will compete in all of your favorite rodeo events. 
vying for the CCA championship title. And wrap up your weekend with the CCA Finals Rodeo Cabaret featuring Sweet Tequila. Get your tickets now for the CCA Finals Rodeo, October 18th through 21st in Swift Current. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.